royal and humble greetings to each and every one on this video we're going to be looking at the Tosa kingdom family tree Amatosa are part of the Nguni people that migrated south during the Bandu migration. Some historians say the word Nguni is actually Abanguni, meaning those who don't sin. Now these groups of people were avoiding invasion and wars at the time of the migration and searched for peaceful land to settle in. But because that history was documented by white scholars, hence the mispronunciation of words. It is recorded that these Nguni people moved south and came into contact with other indigenous people, now known as the Khoi Sen people. Some people will say the Nama, the Korana, the Kuhun, or the Aham, or Kwekwe, or Kuna, which were all categorized under Khoi Sen. Sen meaning South African natives. The Nguni people negotiated with some of these groups of people after having some encounters and altercations. They used the word Osa to distinguish these Nguni people. Osa meaning fierce, and their leader at that time was Malangane. Malangane gave birth to Nwangube. After Nwangube, it was Ngosiane. After Ngosiane, it was Ngosiamdu. Ngosiamdu had three sons, Tsiha, Chawe, and Joaha. It is said that Chawe, with the help of his brother Joaha, overthrew his brother Tsiha and became heir to the throne. Chawe lived in the 1400s in the place called Mzumkulu. After Chawe, it was Nwangu. After Nwangu, it was Sikomo. After Sikomo, it was Doku. It is said that Toku moved his people to a place called Engelin. After Toku, it was Nonde. After Nonde, it was Chiwo. After Chiwo, it was Palo. Now, Palo mystically married two wives the same day, unplanned. One from the Mbondo Royal House and the other from the Abatembu Royal House. Therefore, there was no first or second wife. He then had two sons. That's how the Tosa kingdom was separated into two, having the left-hand house and the right-hand house. Khakabe, who was the older brother, decided to move in search of new land with some of his followers and establish a kingdom of his own, now known as Isizwe Samakhakabe, or the Khakabe kingdom. Tzaleka took over after his father, Palo. After Tzaleka, it was Kauta. After Kauta, it was Inza. After Inza, it was Sahili. After Sahili, it was Sitao. After Sitao, it was Kwebingumbi. After Kwebingumbi, it was Zwelitumile. After Zwelitumile, it was Tolilizwe. After Tolilizwe, it was Mbendulo Zwelonke. After Mbendulo, it is Ashange Nesetau, King Vulikaya Katolilizwe, who is the now presiding king. Now looking at the right hand house, Khakabe settled between what is now called Middle Drift and King Williamstown. After Khakabe, it was Mlau. After Mlau, it was Naika. After Ngaika, it was Sandile. After Sandile, it was Gonya. After Gonya, it was Faku. After Faku, it was Velile. After Velile, it was Bazindruvu. After Bazindruvu, it was Matobaya Kauleza. After Matobaya Kauleza, it was Chongucholo Sandile. Ah, Vululwandle who is now the king of the Khakabe kingdom. Now that was the Tosa kingdom family tree, from the left hand house to the right hand house. If you enjoy this video and you want more similar content, make sure to leave a comment. Until the next one, thank you for watching.